So it basically all comes down to finding the time to do the work. Not finding the time, that's actually the single biggest danger we are facing. And we don't have to get started with excuses on both of our sides because we both know, you know, we never have enough time. And worse, even if you try to do this kind of work at home, there are so many other things you have to do at home and some things that you can do and then some other things come up. There are some things you're used to do and some urgent things suddenly come up and then the day is over and you might not have had time to do the things that really matter. Um, so let's talk about it a little bit. There are two ways you can go about it. So imagine this is the amount of time that you have. Well, that is quite a lot of time. And these are now all these little things that we do. Most of them we just do because we simply do them. We have the habit of doing them. Some are entertaining, some are rather urgent, but they're really short, like they, they, they don't take a lot of time. But they're really very really small ones. Well, there are many of them, but they're small ones. But if you wouldn't do them, it wouldn't really have any any severe consequences. So, but you do them anyways, all right, uh, quickly. And you still have, well, well, you have a lot of time still left, great. And then you have these other things here. These are things that are certainly more important. You also, you need to, you need to do a certain amount of them. For example, these are social activities, friends, very important. Um, and you just do them. Some of them are really just urgent also. They, they, they are not as important, but really urgent. So you try to do them. Well, maybe you don't really have to do as many of them, you might think. But, well, if you can do all of them, it's, most of them are really fun. And so you keep on going and yes, you fit them all in perfectly. No need to leave any of them out and you still have some time left. Now come these things. These are the really important ones. If you don't do them, uh, these big ones, this will have some really severe consequences. So, of course, you're very aware of that. So, you try to now, you put them on top, you still have some time. But then you notice, even if you try to squeeze them in and turn and maybe wiggle a little bit, you will find that, yes, they fit in somehow, but not really. You don't have time to do them really well. You might be able to start them, but it is flowing over very clearly. You, you, you won't have the time to do them well. You, you run out of time. Now, following Stephen Covey's habits of highly successful people, there is another way you can go about it. And that is basically the same thing, but the other way around. You are aware that these are the important ones, that if you don't do those, this will have really severe tangible consequences. So what you do is you do them first. And you put them in first and voila, they all fit in. Well, okay. Then we have all these other ones. These are the urgent ones, the little ones that you also should do. I mean, they are also important. Friends, of course, sports. You have to do a certain amount of, of music. Very important. Um, dancing, you know, you got to keep your soul happy. That is absolutely important. Maybe you don't have to do so many of them again, but let's try it. Maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can do all of them and we'll see here that all right yeah, well and and you can well all right good now we have them all in well we didn't check our social media accounts yet especially not every 15 minutes but let's start checking it and and do all these little things that we usually also do these things that if you really wouldn't do them especially not so much it wouldn't really have an important consequence and we now start to put them in and and, and check out what happens so we start doing all of them and see what happens at the end all of it now suddenly all of it fits in and you know what I like best about doing it this way? If you do it this way, you will still additionally always have time for a beer. Alcohol-free one, of course, and then you go right back to study.